Dutch here and this is Thick Paint. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about scraping a canvas. If you paint with a lot of thick paint, once that paint's dry it's very hard to go back and paint over the top unless you scrape the canvas. And for that I use this tool right here which some of you will, will recognize as a ceramics tool. And what I've done is, is uh, sharpen this one edge right here. The tool she'll need to do that is a sharpening stone. This is a fairly cheap uh, stone I just bought from a local hardware. It has a rough side and a smooth side for sharpening. I'll probably, this feels fairly sharp, so I'll probably use the smooth side today. And then to get the edge really sharp, I use a, an old piece of leather and some chromium oxide green. Now it has to be the real stuff, it can't be a hue because it's got to have that chromium oxide in there which is essentially a honing compound in addition to being a pigment. I stroke it along the stone in an arcing motion. Try to get up as close as I can to this edge here. Sometimes you need that more rounded edge to, to scrape. Now I'm using this smooth side. You'll probably want to start yours on this rougher edge. I've already got a nice edge on here, so I don't want to start taking a lot of metal off with that, with that rougher edge. So just put a dab on there. don't need a lot. And uh, you just rub this in really good. Polishing that up really nice. It's going to be really sharp. So you do want to be very, very careful with this. Don't lay it around where a child can get to it, obviously. It's just too sharp, which is good for scraping. Okay. Now here's that canvas that we were going to correct. And you can see it's it's got quite a bit of texture on there. So. Uh, if we're going to paint into this area again, we've got to remove that or it's going to look really chalky. That effect can work occasionally in a very light area, but it, it can't work very well in a shadowy area. So I need to take the texture down here too because I'm going to lower that value. Take some texture out of here because I'm going to add some mass and a little bit more rhythm in there. And um, take some texture out along here as well so that we can get that lightened up to to make this this field and this road lie, lay a little flatter. It looks there's a line that kind of goes up through here that's kind of irritating me. You can see with this arc on here you can get into places where otherwise you might not be able to get into. Now it's interesting, even though this is pretty smooth, that's a little bumpy there, it, looks, it still looks pretty textured, so that's quite interesting. It feels good to me. I don't do it. I don't use a lot of chromium oxide green, but uh, I do keep it in the studio. It makes a great sharpening compound. Well that's it for today. Thanks for taking a look at the video today and um, if you have any questions or comments I hope you'll post them below and I look forward to reading them. Thank you.